because field workers didn't have access to better packing materials than just hay and burlap and cotton, they had to innovate ways to try to get the matrix and the fossil to stick together. Literally. We know from surviving correspondences as well as biographies of some of these guys that workers were experimenting with hardening, what we now call consolidation. They would saturate the rock and the fossil with glues and try to get the mass to just hold together better as they transported it. Initially, workers used animal and vegetable glues. Gum water was pretty popular. This was gum arabic or acacia gum spread onto the matrix and the bone to soak into it. In addition to just gluing stuff together, they would hold it together structurally with bandaging or splinting. This is extremely similar to setting a broken bone. Or a a living broken bone, you know, like when you break your arm. They would have strips of cloth or paper that had been soaked in some kind of cement and then wrapped around both the specimen and the matrix. These were supported by wood planks or by iron rods like Davies's mammoth. And there was even experimentation with encasement where you have a huge hard shell around the entire bandage specimen, which eventually resulted in today's modern plaster jackets. 